actually, there is a, um, let's see, hang on. Let's do storage. Let's do storage in this area and see what pops up. Okay. All right, so we've got easy storage and suites here. We've got AAA storage, America's self storage. We got Miss Lillian's right here. So you could see mine is like right in the middle, like right in town, right? Which is good, right? It's like right there in town. And what's this one? Hometown medical storage. I think that's medical supply store. So there's like, you know, one, two, three, security mini storages, four, five. That's, there's five of them in town. That's about it. That's like, there's five storage facilities here, okay? So that's what it looks like. Now I've driven, yeah, I drove past this one. This was like a brand new one. I drove past this. Let's put this on, um, yeah, let's put this on satellite. Yeah, so this one here, this guy at one point, at one point he uh, wanted to sell, but he wanted like way too much money. This is a brand new storage facility right here. And he's full and he's got some area in the back here that you could build onto, right? And then, um, we can come up the road here and come over to this other one here. Let me pull out here. And then, um, yeah, here's America's self storage. So this one is, this is a little storage facility right here. Six buildings, okay, right off Brady. And um, here's security mini store, just like some long skinny ones coming in through here. And... And let's see what else. And then you've got Miss Lillian's right here. So this is what ours looks like. Okay, so this is what it looks like. All right, it's got one, two, three, four buildings here. And then it's got this one long building here. Okay, so I'm gonna give you the story on this, okay? So yeah, so my student brought it to me and uh, it was, um, it was like last, it was like last year, we just bought this one and we put it under contract in May. No, I'm sorry. We put it under contract in March to close in May. All right. But what happened is, uh, let me see if I have a picture of it. Yeah. What happened, and I got this picture right off of a uh, land glide. You can use parcel, you can use regrid. grid, you can use Crexy. And, um, but I got this off. So what happened is that there's two parcels here. Okay, you can see that two parts. This is the long skinny building. And then this is this building. Now, um, so this is what happened is that the uh, the owners, the owner that bought this really, really nice guy. And um, he when he bought it, the attorneys did not close the deal properly did not uh did not close the deal property properly which means that um they didn't the uh i guess they didn't you know they didn't do title work the, the title was not correct and they didn't get all the documents that were supposed to sign be signed signed now this granted this is probably like 20 years ago right and this happened i'm telling you this happens quite often and it's and, a, and 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 it's very typical for storage facilities to be on a couple different acres. So you'll see this a lot. All right. And so what you want to do when you see this is you really want to you really want to look at the legal descriptions. I don't know if anybody has ever closed on a facility and not read the legal description, but um, my husband is really really good at that. He read the legal description and he was like, I, you know, on the contract, and he was like, this is only really for the one parcel. He said, I don't see the other parcel on here. And so uh, we contacted the attorney and the attorney said that this parcel right here was not closed properly and that this property never was never actually transferred to the new owner. So 20 years ago, he thought he bought this entire property, but instead he only bought this property right here and he did not buy this one. All right. Could you imagine? Could you imagine like getting told that by the attorney? I'm sorry, but you did. He, he went to the same attorney that had closed it like 20 years ago. And he was like, you know, and the attorney was like, I'm sorry, but like, you don't own this property right here. I would be like, I'd be freaking out. Right. So, um, so actually Pete, my husband caught the whole thing. And then, uh, and so then the attorney that attorney that closed this, 
um like our attorney um they had to like they had to read like, first of all they had to go and um they had to go back and look at all the records and then what they realized is that the, the it was probated all right and when they went through the probate process the probate uh, the probate attorney that probated it and they did not do it correctly all right and so and if anybody's ever been through a probate process before you know that it takes forever it takes like six months minimum right typically like six months or more to do probate and so the attorney came back to us and he said that it has to be this property has to be reprobated it's like you can still buy it but we have to go through the probate process again well guess what the uh the owner all the owners of the property were all dead the previous owners before our owner that we were buying from all right so the probate process had to end up going through like, like the county, the city, the state, the county, whatever. I don't know what the process is actually, but like whatever I had to go through in order to be probated to like reprobated to the previous owner so that the previous owner could sell it to, um, to us. It was like, it was a, just a gigantic mess is what it was. And it was because the uh, the legal description, because it, the legal description wasn't correct and it didn't have that second property. So I really highly recommend, like don't ever, ever expect that the attorneys know what they're doing. You need to always, always check their work, right? To make sure that it's done properly. And uh, fortunately I have Pete, my husband on my team and he's like super detail oriented, super meticulous he's one of those guys that reads like all the contracts and it's I, at one point i thought it was really annoying i was like annoying reading all these damn contracts but uh but in the end like he actually like saves he like saves us a lot okay so that's number one tip number one make sure that you read your contracts especially your legal descriptions and make sure that everything is correct not only from the attorney side but um from your side as well too Okay.